Welcome everyone. Third week here, we're talking about energy, vibration, law of attraction, meditation, how they all co-mingle together, how they're intermingled. Isn't it fun just to be intermingled, right? So we talked about energy. We talked about how energy vibrates. It, it's at a certain vibration. Now this week we're gonna talk about law of attraction. How am I going to manifest all the things and attract them to me so that I have everything and everyone and all these things in my life, right? All the things that you've ever wanted. I want a boyfriend. I want to have a baby. I want to get married. I want to go on a cruise. I want a car. I want a new job. I want. How do we do that? What is this vibration and energy and what does that have to do with it? Well, let's talk about that. So law of attraction is like attracts like. So if you're in a vibration of love and joy and happiness, you're going to attract more love and joy and happiness to you. Things will start, the world is expanding and you are expanding with it because you are open to having all of these things come to you. If you're down in, in um, all the lower vibrations, then like anger and fear and I can't do it and doubt and all that. All that still is gonna, you're in negative, you're contracting, you're repelling everything away from you because you're down in this low kind of icky vibration that's sort of like in an icky spot that you don't wanna be in. You don't wanna be in an icky spot because you're gonna repel everything that you want away from you. And you're gonna see that because you're gonna go, nope, can't have that boyfriend. Nope, that guy just left terrible date nope uh, that's the wrong house that's not the one or the contract fell through or you know whatever it is or I didn't get that class I wanted I didn't get that new job I wanted because you're in this icky state of just icky 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 woe is me right but if you can see it as an opportunity oh maybe that job just wasn't right for me maybe there's something better on the horizon maybe there's something even greater out there for me right maybe Maybe that wasn't the right boyfriend for me or girlfriend. Maybe that, that wasn't for me, right? Because there's something else out there that is for you. And when you get to that point where you're like, yeah, yeah, there is something better for me. That guy was definitely not right for me. No, 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 I'm not gonna waste any more time on that. I'm not gonna be down in sadness and sorrow and grief and uh, icky, icky, icky. I'm gonna be up here. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be cool, man. I'm gonna be in joy. I'm gonna be in peace. And I'm gonna attract with this really high vibration and this, all this energy of me just being this go, 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 that they're all gonna come to me and they're gonna want me and then I'm gonna have to decide which one is it that I want. So, law of attraction you have to get really 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 clear on what it is you want you want a car you better tell me what color that car is you better tell me uh what do you want inside that car right you better tell me what kind of engine it has you better tell me does it have two doors or four doors does it have a sunroof does it have this does it have that right i need details people i need details what is it that you want? Because if you don't know exactly what you want or pretty darn close, then you're going to attract the wrong car, right? You're going to get a car, but it's not going to be blue. It's going to be red. It's not going to have two doors. It's going to have four doors. It's not going to be, uh, you know, a convertible. It's going to be a van. And you're like, that's not what I wanted, right? So we have to get clear. We have to believe that it's gonna happen. I am going to get the car that I want. I truly believe that in my heart of hearts. You have to remove all doubt because all these other people in the world have gotten cars that they wanted, right? So I get to have my car too. And then you have to visualize it and feel it. So you have to sit and visualize, and you can do that through meditation. Uh, visualize what it is, see that car, see you driving that car. What does it feel like when you're in the car? Are you happy because you finally have the car that you want, right? Or are you just happy because you have reliable transportation and it's safe for you to have your kids in the car and it's safe for you to be in the car and it no longer breaks down or whatever the car was doing, right? And then you have to just receive it. So it's this whole process. And in order for the whole process to go all the way through, you need to 
be at that higher vibration. And you're probably saying, Steph, I can't do it. I can't stay in joy every day, all day. I get it. You can't. Life comes at you, the kids are screaming, the dog, the this, the, somebody wants that, the boss wants this. The, you're tired, right? You're tired, you're worn out, you're thinking, how am I ever gonna do this? You have to have that belief that it's gonna happen and you have to just pick yourself back up again and think that next best thought and the next best thought and the next best thought until you have all these wonderful good thoughts about things around you, being grateful for the things that are already around you, and then you're starting to lift that vibration, and you're lifting it up, and it's coming to you, and all of your the things that you want are coming towards you, instead of repelling away from you. So, I hope that you learned something there about vibration, energy, law of attraction, and then we're gonna add meditation next week, so stay tuned, right? So. Listen, here we go. August 22nd, guided full moon meditation by moi. You're gonna wanna be there. I mean, come on, who doesn't wanna have a guided meditation by me? I mean, come on. I won't be this crazy during that time. I will be calm. And I know the people who know me, they're probably saying there's no way she can be calm, but I can. So, join me on August 22nd for the guided meditation or seek out my website and you can have a mediumship reading with me. I have half hour and one hour sessions. I will see you next week. Bye.